So when, when someone experiences a negative event or a negative experience, the reaction they get to that negative experience um, could be, you know, trauma, right? So they experience something really, really tragic and um, they're not able to deal with, you know, the effect of that tragic event in their life. So that is um, trauma. And today I want to be talking about how to heal from emotional trauma. So you've experienced a really, really painful hurt, right? Something really, really painful. You know, that thing could, it could result in trauma if it's not dealt with, if you're not healed and you know, you just bury it and you know, act like you, it doesn't matter. That's what I'm going to be talking about in today's video, how to heal from emotional trauma. Right, so um, my name is Juliet Israel. I am a mindset coach. I share content on all things related to mindset, mental health, and emotional wellness to help you upgrade your mind, your life, your finances, and business. So if you love content um, on this topic, subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my video the next time that I drop one. Yeah, so in today's video, I'm talking about how to heal from emotional trauma, like I said. So, um, number one tip or number one way, one of the ways, right? I'm not just saying number one way. So, not one of the ways to um, heal is to be willing to heal. Now, and that, that might seem like, you know, ironical because like, I want to heal. Is that not why I'm watching this video? But the truth is that most of the time, some people say they want to heal, but they're not even willing to let go of the baggage. You know, I was, I was speaking with someone who, you know, was brutally hurt by someone else. And, you know, she was telling me how she wanted to heal. But when, when we got deep and, and started, you know, talking about the situation and getting to the process of healing, we, we realized that, you know, she was not even willing to let go at all. So she was not actually willing to heal. So you need to be willing to heal, right? Be willing to heal. That's one tip. The second one is to accept support from others. Yeah, accept support. Don't just because something bad or negative happened to you doesn't mean you should shut the whole world out and you know, um, stick to yourself and not want to accept help from other people. No, you need to you know open up, open up your arms and you know be willing to accept support, accept care from others. So the third one is to connect with other people, right? Connect with others. It could be other people who are going through something similar. Um, like what you're going through so you need to be able to connect with them now the purpose of connecting with them is that you know so that you're not you know you're not idle right you're not alone the bible says that was it the bible that said it anyway there's a saying that goes that um an idle mind um, is the devil, devil's workshop right so you need to you know connect with other people you know don't just glory in your in your heart glory in your pain so um you need to be willing to mingle, interact with people, right? Don't, you know, connect with people, basically. And then number four is to work with your feelings. So one way to work with your feelings is to document, journal, talk about, write out how you're feeling, what you're experiencing, uh, what you're thinking. Basically, journal every single thing, you know. You're going through a process, you're going through a phase. So you need to, you know, document things. Documenting things helps you take off the emotions from your head you know from your um basically from your mind right and you know push it down so it's kind of like you're looking at the emotions you're looking at whatever it is that you're feeling from like a different angle from like a different perspective like someone else other than you so that's basically what um, one of the things that documenting helps you to do another tip is to which is number five is to practice self-care so this is the time you want to care for yourself so much this is the time you want to pay attention to yourself so practice self-care i think i have a video on self-compassion self-love and all that you need to watch it and learn to practice self-care so uh, number six is to um, practice mindfulness and meditation yes you want to um take some time some quiet time be calm and just practice mindfulness and meditation and then and the final one the final tip is to engage in creative acts right so you need to engage in something that is fun something that is creative you know that will spark your mind to you know get off that um that feeling of pain and hurt that you currently are in right so you need to engage in creative acts and these are some of the tips 
that I hope that if you practice, it's going to help you heal from every emotional baggage and every emotional pain and trauma. So I hope that this tips help. If you like this video, um, leave a thumbs up and um, let me know what you like about the video. Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section. Share this video with someone that you care about, your friends, your loved ones. And also don't forget to subscribe as well. Um, turn on the notification bell so that you get notified of my next video the next time that I drop one. Until next time that I come your way again, my name is Juliet Israel and for now, it's a bye-bye.